Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting beer review and another Bohemian Pils and one of the big beers in Czech Republic. Uh, as you know, I reviewed some of the big Czech beers already and this is another one of those. It's, as I said, uh, from Bohemia and it's called Kusel and that means the Bok, simply. Um, all the beers, uh, or many beers at least, are having something that they can, you know, that uh, people can relate to. And uh, for this brewery it is a Bok, for some reason. And uh, yeah, the label is looking like this, uh, very good looking in my opinion. Um, nice artwork and everything like that. Kusel and um, authentic Czech taste is what it says right here. And um, I believe that's correct. Also I can show you the, the cap right there, of course. Um, Velko Popovicki Kusel. Um, 1874 premium lager um, and um, yeah nice color combination in my opinion gives a little bit of a wood look when it has the dark brown bottle and the dark brown in the whole logo and the dark yellow and uh, that's a nice color combination uh, let's see what it says here Kusel premium lager Gebraut und abgefüllt in der Plesensky Prasdroy in Pilsen. The same, uh, the same brewery as the beer that I reviewed last time. Um, yeah, what does it say more? 4.6 ABV. And um, yeah. This is a, a very decent one, a really good Bohemian Pils, I can say that already. And it's always nice to drink it. One of the big premium Czech Pilsners. As I mentioned before, I always, when it comes to Czech beers, choose the so-called premium ones, which is the normal ones, the popular ones, uh, pale lager, Alcohol ABV around 5% and uh, the Vought strength is um, something else and that is a 12 at all these beers that I was mentioning. Um, but uh, yeah, let's maybe go over to the history of the brewery part. Um, this Pilsner has an elegant bitterness, a mild aroma of malt and the pops and a good carbonic acid. A pouring it is amber with a yeasty crown and the aroma includes a little orange, citrus and spices. The hops bitterness go again and returns in the aftertaste. All in all, this is a good Pilsner. The brewery is about 14 kilometers outside of Prague and there is guided tours for visitors. They produce a good set of pale and dark lager beers, which are popular both in the home country and throughout the world. The brewery's products are also brewed in Russian city of Kaluga. And some other information on the website about uh, beers from Czech Republic that I found and uh, that I used to go through when I review beers uh, from Czech Republic. Beer name Kusel, which means the Bok, founded 1875, city Velke Popovice, distance from Prague, 30 kilometers, approximately 20 minutes. Is it worth going there? Not directly, it is hardly a village and the brewery does not offer anything special. Brewery located very nicely over a small pond where they also fetch water for their beer. Otherwise, there is not much, a small kiosk selling beers. The brewery restaurant was closed for renovation, can be something when it opens because the building is handsome. The beer, amber with a big hops bitterness and fullness, medium sweet with some fruit flavor. Here you should be careful with the judgments. The brewery makes all kinds of different beers that belong to Sub Miller Group and it is soon doubtful if you can talk about Kusel as its own beer. 
No one knows if Gambrinas and Kusel aren't quite the same thing when it comes to taste. Uh, owner is Saab Miller. Uh, the, um, the brewery is also the fifth in the country to exceed the capacity of uh, 1 million hectoliters per year. The other four are Platan, Radigast, Stavopramen and Budva. That's uh, some information about this uh, beer, Kusel, and uh, yeah, as I said in the beginning, it's one of the big beers in Czech Republic, and uh, yeah. With that said, it might be time to go over to the tasting part of uh, Kusel, so uh, let's open it up. And pour it up. There we have it. Um, as always, nice golden color. Um, nice white head which keeps the taste in the glass. And um, yeah, not that many bubbles. But uh, really nice and typical Czech looking in my opinion. Um, you can see yourself closer right here. Let's get the aroma. And that's also quite typical for the Czech Bohemian style for a Pilsner. Um, yeah, it's um really uh, great with the hops, um, the Czech style, um, with a nice uh, quality hops and everything like that. Yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be good, I can say that already. So uh, let's taste it. Cheers! Yeah, really nice. Um, I would say typical Bohemian pills. Um, hops taste and uh, balance between maltiness is there, but uh, of course the hops bitterness is the, the dominant over the malt because it's a pills and uh, Bohemian pills. Uh, maltiness is uh, more something that is easy to f uh, to um, to taste in um, darker beers Cherna they are called in uh, in Czech Republic this is a very very decent and uh, good bohemian pills in my opinion and I understand why it has become quite big let's give it another taste Easy to drink and um, maybe not anything special comparing to um, other Bohemian pills like this one, but still it's good and um, it seems like the hops bitterness doesn't stay too long in the aftertaste, um, but it's a great quality beer in my opinion. Typical, uh, typical Czech beer, which is recommended by me to to uh, check out for all of you. Since it's uh, that big, it's something that you need to try. As simple as that. And um, yeah, the the good uh, looking label is of course also 
making it interesting uh, because that's something that for me at least is uh, a meaning and something that I that I look to when I choose um, beers to review. Um, I like the labels at all uh, the beers that I review. Um, and um, yeah, that's uh, often is my experience giving a good view about what uh, quality and style it is of the beer. And that's, uh, that's something that never has been uh, giving me the reason to change that judgment. Um, so I, um, I keep myself to what I know that I like. For example, this one, Bohemian Pills from traditional uh, breweries. And uh, there is also enough um, for the rest of my life to try um, among the things that I know that I like. So why um, go over the, the water for more water, if you understand what I mean. Um, I know what I like and um, this is one example of that. Yeah, that's it. That's the Kusel Premium. Nice beer. And um, always nice to enjoy. And um, yeah, it's enjoyed really much in Czech Republic. So um, with that said, I think that's it for now. And I'll return soon again with another beer review. I hope you like my channel and that you continue to follow it. And I see you next time in another beer review.